Hi guys, super, super exciting video today. I'm sure you'll love it. I don't know, I, I think you'll like it. I'm in Paris for work, as most of you know, and if you saw my Snapchat, you, sh you already know like I got these things. Um, but I like don't really have a strong shoe game. I've been into purses for like up to this point in my life and this time when I was in Paris like I know I want to buy something when I'm in Paris you know because it's like cheaper um, there's no tax and like the euro isn't that strong right now so it's just like it's super worth it but then I was thinking like I don't really want any purses like I pretty much have everything that I would get already and everything else like I would want I just really wouldn't get um, so I got two pairs of shoes yesterday totally like I saw these a while back and I just, I saw one of them a while back and I was like, I need to have them and they had no, like my size were always, I'm a 37, 6 and a half, 37, um, sometimes 36 and a half, depends on the brand of the shoe. Um, okay, I'm just gonna show you guys. So I got a pair of Jimmy Choo's and I'll show you guys which ones. And then also I picked up a pair of Louboutins. This is my first pair of Louboutins. I do have a pair of Jimmy Choo boots, but I never like wear them because they're so high. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited. I think I'll show the Louboutin first because I actually think I love the Jimmy Choo's uh, even more. They're just so pretty. Okay, I did not expect myself to buy two pairs of like really expensive shoes. Um, the same day but like there's a line to get into the Louboutin boutique okay I waited for like 20 15 minutes and when they have something I okay I'm pretty scatterbrained but like so before I tried these on I thought um, I would never get like a pair of basic heels from Louboutin I, especially the black ones I mean no shade if you like they're really gorgeous don't get me wrong they make you like they make your legs look really nice just the shoe is really nice but I just thought like it, this doesn't really make sense and I don't really like the black and the like the red the juxtaposition of like it to two stark colors I think it's a little bit like mm, I don't know and then I try these on these are not okay let me just let me just open them first okay okay so it comes in a box like this and then when you open the box you have ooh, you have a dust bag makes sense um, okay, taking out the dust bag. I haven't opened this yet, so it's really like an unboxing. Ta-da! Can you see? Oh my gosh, so pretty! Hope you can see. So I got a pair of nude, um, shoes. <laughs> nude pumps. These are Pigels. So they're like one of their classic shapes, and they are nude. So I think they only do them in nude and black. Um... Red sole, nude, and I got them in the size 37. Here you go. Again, they are the Pigals. Um, okay, so. Just when I tried these on, I just like couldn't say no. I think this nude is also really perfect uh, uh, for my skin tone. So it really looks like it blends in with my legs. I'll do shots with it uh, of me wearing them so you can see what they look like on. So pretty. Okay, so the thing is I actually got these in 85 milliliters instead of 100. 100 is like their standard. 85 is like 3 inches and 100 is like 3 and a something else. Like a little bit more than 3 inches or three and a half or something but you can't really see the difference that much I mean if you're like really into shoes I'm sure you'll be able to tell but it makes a world of a difference when you're walking like when I'm wearing a hundred like three and a whatever like the normal size I literally feel like I cannot walk and I don't think that that's cute like if the shoes are really cute that's great but if you can't walk in them that's really not cute you know so I got these which I can literally probably run a mile in these I'm not even joking you they're so comfortable they're just the right height and I can walk forever in these. So I thought to myself, like, first of all, the hundreds were sold out anyway, but I tried on other, like, models. But, I mean, if I'm going to spend this much on a shoe, I really want to buy something that I can wear all the fucking time. I'm, the, I'm that kind of person, you know? And plus, like, once I get really used to these, I can probably upgrade to 100 or 120 even one day. But I need to get comfortable with them first. So, yeah, here they are. I will insert a shot of me wearing them, but they're just patent leather and they look like this 
I'm gonna talk about prices um, just to be more informative. Uh, everyone knows these are expensive shoes anyway, so I'm not trying to like, you know, whatever. So these are 515 euro. I thought that was like pretty cheap to be honest with you because I always thought they would be much more expensive and I get 12%, oops, 12% off of that because I get tax back. Um, so it came out to be, you know, like 400 something. And right now in the US, I think they retail for like 695 dollars pre-tax so you did a the math there like these came out to be less than five hundred dollars for me US dollars so super worth it in my opinion so those are the pair of lubes like by the way when you get your seat it comes like in a something like this it's pretty cute it has like a red sole thing up next these Jimmy shoes okay when I first saw these I fell in love so hard um, like in person these were also like in a very famous uh, Korean drama, if you already know what I'm talking about. But I'm a 37, it's like one of the most common shoe sizes, so everywhere I went, sold out. Especially because I also wanted these in 85, because again, like I want to be able to walk in them. Let me just open them first. Okay, so box open. Inside you have this like booklet, I think it tells you like how to take care of stuff. A dust bag, which is white, tissue paper. Oh, these are like actually wrapped because I think of the sequence. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see, but let me like unwrap one. Okay, so pretty, oh my gosh. These are so gorgeous. Hope the camera's doing its justice, but oh my god, I cannot believe I got these. These are also in 37s. Um, they are, what are these called? I think these are the. These are the Agnes in light bronze lame glitter. I think it's like lame glitter or whatever. Um, they're the pointed, very, very pointed kind. And again, it's 85. Look at the heel though, it's so pretty. It's like, oh, this is so pretty under lights and at night. Oh my God, like I love these so much. And again, they're so comfortable to wear. They come in a lot, so these are, um, so the sales told me that this is part of the permanent collection and the colors that I was looking after were actually special edition or like seasonal and they were like of course sold out um, but I oh my god I can't believe I got these they're very 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 pretty I don't know I don't know what to say um, so if you watch like my love from another star you would know these shoes like uh, I think the ones in her show in that show is like the black kind of kind. Uh, this is like a bronze. It just says Jimmy Choo on the back, on the bottom, and it says Made in Italy. They have like a ton of different like um, glitters. There's one that has like uh, ombre, it's like white and then pink. So pretty, but I don't think they make that in 85. They only make certain ones in 85. And again, I don't want to buy something I can't wear. So I went with these and this is literally the last pair she had. Um, so I thought it was fate. <laughs> I'm just gonna get it. Um, yeah, and I really, okay, so a lot of them are like, so they have like the round toe, and then there's one that's like not as pointed. This one is definitely like the longest pointed. Love the look, so sexy. I will link both of these down below, of course, as always, so you can get them if you want or like look at them more. Um, but yeah, I don't know, really comfortable to wear as well. Uh, I would say the Louboutins, I tried them on and the toe, like here, infamously, of course, it's a little bit cramped, but otherwise the height, super comfortable. These are just really comfortable, like, throughout. Um, so these were actually 495 euro before before tax back. So after tax, it's like, I, calc I think it's like $480 that I would be paying for them, and I think these retail for, I'm not sure, like about $600 probably again in the US. I will link it down below so you can take a look and yeah, super worth it. Very, very pretty. Love this pair so much. This one, I can't like even explain how much, how good it looks under lighting like at night. Oh my God, can't believe it. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you really liked it. I'm not sure if I'll buy anything else this time when I'm in Paris, but maybe, who knows. Um, I'll like keep looking. Uh, I'm really happy with the purchases. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!